YouTube fam, on the menu today we have drum roll Korean honey butter chicken strips. Let me rephrase that. This is Korean honey butter crispy chicken strips. So, super easy, y'all. Get you a nice, this is one big fat chicken breast, y'all. It really pays to go to your local meat market instead of like some of these local grocery stores where you just get um, like the skimpy, the skimpy little chicken breast. See, this here, this one chicken breast could probably make me way more than 10 strips. Way more. So, I got my nice sharp knife here, y'all. So, what we are about to do is cut our chicken breast into strips. Let's go. So I'm not even gonna cut it going this way because we don't we don't need to. We're just gonna make them. Let me get this little piece off here. We're just gonna make them not too narrow. So I'm gonna start right here at the tenderloin. We can make that one. Let's get the cut in. Let's see how that looks. See that, and that's still a little too thick. I don't even want them that thick. See how thick that is, guys. We can make that. So what we're going to do is just cut this one right in half, just like that. There you go. That's two strips right there. Perfect. And let's get to cutting another one, probably about right here. These are so good and so flavorful, y'all. Especially if you are the type of um, person who loves to eat, like, um, or drizzle honey like on your fried chicken like I love that I love honey on my uh, fried chicken so we kind of want them to look just like that just like that so I am going to continue to cut these up and keep them long doesn't matter it's no wrong way or no right way you could keep them long if you don't want them that long definitely you could cut them in half but like when they fry, they're going to just like curl up and just have that crispy crust on them. So, let's see. That one side of that breast, y'all, made all them strips. Get that one like that. Look, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you know what, y'all? I am going to cut them. Let's cut them in half. Let's cut them in half, y'all. This one is good. Let's cut them in half like that. We are going to cut these in half. Hope everyone is doing great out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys a lot. You just don't know. Love, y'all, for tuning in. So, let's get on our other breasts here. So, y'all, I'm just going to continue to cut these up. And then I'll be back to show y'all what we go season these bad boys with. Stay tuned, y'all. Alexa, pause. Okay, y'all. So, with these chicken strips, because our... Um, our honey butter sauce is going to be so flavorful. We are keeping the flavors on the chicken real simple. But of course, yes, we are still going to season our chicken. So, we are going to season this with some five spice. Asian blend five spice. And what five spice has in it, y'all, is cinnamon, anise, ginger, fennel, and cloves. Okay? Powerful, powerful flavors. Let's just give this a little sprinkle, not too much. And we are also going to sprinkle it with a all-purpose seasoning, which is one of my new favorites right here. And this is the uh, Morton's Nature's Seasons, a seasoning blend, all-purpose. And what this has in it, you guys, is salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. Perfect, perfect flavors. All spice with this all season and blend is perfect down. So then you just want to take your hand, mix it up. Mix it on up. I'm going to let this seasoning 
sit on these strips for about 30 minutes in the fridge. And I will be back, y'all, to show y'all the next step. All right, my YouTube fam, I am Bach, Bach, Bach. So now that our nice chicken has been marinating for about 30 minutes, we are about to flour it up. So we are gonna start with one egg. We are gonna sprinkle in some cornstarch. Probably like one fourth cup. That's gonna make it nice and crispy. Like I always say about cornstarch. And you guys, we are going to add in some flour. Boom, just like that. Take your beautiful clean hands and get to incorporating all of that goodness. Go get nasty, y'all. Don't be scared. Just go get nasty. Just go get nasty. But you built for this. You got this. You built for this. Okay. Just like that. Right. So this is gonna make it real nice, crispy, and crunchy. Now, what we are about to do is get our other flour right here. Boom. Open that up. So this is just a bag of flour, you guys. So now I'm about to take all my strips. We double battering, basically. So now take these nice, sticky strips. You want them to look just like that, real messy. You want them to look a hot mess. Toss them in your flour bag. In your flour bag, right? You want to make sure they all coat it. Take it. Shake that bag up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Now, look how beautifully coated. Look how beautifully coated that strip is. That's going to be so golden brown and crispy and crunchy, y'all. Look at that. So let me finish battering up these bad boys. And I will be back with the next step, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. So here is our um, chicken strips. And they are all different sizes. You can do your chicken strips the way you want to do your chicken strips. You know, they don't have to be perfect, you know. But do them the way you want to do them. If you want them all uniform, have them all uniform. So we have our grease right here. And we are just going to start dropping these bad boys in. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to fry. We're just going to start dropping them in. These will not take long. These are probably going to take mm, maybe about five to seven minutes. So they nice and done and golden brown because they so thin and small. And you don't want to dry them out. You want a nice juicy bite on these. So I'm going to be doing two batches. That's what I have left to fry. So we're gonna let these bad boys fry and I'll be back. Okay, my YouTube fam, we are at the most important step and that is our Korean honey butter. So, of course we're starting with butter, y'all. This is real salted butter, um, not margarine. You will definitely need real butter for this recipe. So I am starting off with, hey dude. I'm started off with a half a stick. A half a stick of butter should do me good for this recipe. So that's a half a stick of butter, nice and melted, y'all. So now I'm going in with some minced garlic, okay? And that's about a tablespoon and a half, okay? Get that garlic infused with your butter. Get it infused with your butter. Get that butter 
nice and garlicky. Let that garlic toast for about two more seconds. Okay. There we go. Now, we are going to add in about, uh, let's see. That's about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Um, we are going to add in some, you probably can't see it, but this is hoisin sauce. We are going to do just a teaspoonful of that. So that's really strong. There you go. Teaspoonful of hoisin. We're going to give this a nice stir. Yes, please, and thank you. Oh. Man, honey butter chicken. And this recipe, y'all, um, goes so good with bone and chicken, like dark meat. It goes so good with dark meat, like um, thighs and drums. So bomb, y'all. So now we are going to go in with some honey. You probably can't see it, but um, I'm going in with some honey. And we are just going to drizzle it in there. I wish I could give y'all the measurements. If I had to guess, I'm going to say... It's probably, I'm probably using about a cup of honey. Boom, boom. Okay. Just like that. Infuse that. Okay. Get that nice and stir. It smells so good. Now it make no sense. It smells so good. So now... Let your honey and your butter get to know each other. You know, they just met. They just want to hang out. Let them get, you know, let them get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? And infuse together. You know, they go hit it off and it's going to be all good. Let that simmer up. That's going to get nice and bubbly, y'all. And when that becomes nice and bubbly, it's time to dip in your chicken and start coating your chicken. So, here is our chicken pieces. Here's one piece of chicken. It is nice and moist in the inside. Hope you guys can see it. Nice and moist in the inside. They are nice and crunchy. Hear that? By the microphone. Nice and crunchy. So see how that's bubbling, y'all? So this is going to get so nice and sticky. And as it cools, it's just gonna coat on your chicken. So swell. So lovely. So love, love. So, let's us start dumping in our chicken. Just like this, y'all. Dumping the chicken. Easy. Dumping your chicken. You got all different kinds of pieces. You got bite size, you got mid size. Coat them however you wish. Give it a nice toss. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, okay, we got those a nice toss. Let's put in some more. Oh, oh. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna get this nice and coated up, y'all. And this recipe is like done. This recipe is done. We're going to get these just nice and soaked up in that honey butter. And listen, we done. Look at that. Lay that right over that. Scoop that up and just lay that right on. Listen, baby. Honey, let me tell you something. I love a honey on some fried chicken. So listen, let's finish getting these coated up because my mouth is watering. And I will be back to show you guys the finished plate. Oh, let me get in here so y'all can see this too. Y'all get a good view. There it goes. See how that butter and honey. And you can smell the poison sauce. Added a little bit of saltiness to it. And remember, we seasoned our chicken with the um, Asian fried spice. So it's just going to be fine. So let me plate this up and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, my YouTube fam, here is the finished product. 
I hope you guys can see this good. My camera is trying to act black. But here is the finished product. Korean honey butter chicken. Delicious. Crunchy. Beautiful. A mountain of greatness, y'all. So as always, I hope guys first of all I hope that y'all can see this finished product that's first of all but um, if not I'll post a, a picture on the community tab so you guys can see how it came out but um thank you guys so much for tuning in I love you guys so 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 much more than you ever know thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching my videos y'all until the next video